We've got a new update in QuickBooks, and I think this is a really important one. In fact, for me, this is one of those ones that is gonna be a really small update for everyone else, but for me, it's gonna be absolutely huge. I can't wait to tell you all about it. Roll the VT. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer of Fanta New Logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, and also your friendly podcast who goes live each and every Monday morning for Ask the Accountant. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a little update that's happened very recently in QuickBooks Online, but I think is a game changer in the way that I use QuickBooks Online. So I'm really excited to tell you about this update and let's go and have a look straight at it. So effectively, the update's really straightforward. It's straight in front of us the second we log into QuickBooks. Basically, the dashboard's had a relook. We now don't have those two dashboard options. So if you remember, there was a business view and an overview screen. That's all gone. We like that. And now that we have the opportunity to customize that dashboard to our heart's content. Let's look at what it looks like as a vanilla product to begin with. So straight away, we have our shortcut sections here, which really comes into line with what our mobile experience is like. So now we're gonna be able to unify what our mobile experience and our Chrome and our browser experience looks like, and they're gonna be the same. And we like that, we like that a lot. So what that means to us is, we have an opportunity now to be able to create our shortcuts directly on the left-hand side. And as soon as we do this, as you can imagine, press create invoice, it's gonna create an invoice for us. Great. But what this also gives us an opportunity is to see our task section. And our task section is becoming more and more important as we go along. I think at first we saw the tasks area and we're like, okay, okay, that's just an opportunity. But when you think about it from our client's point of view, it's huge. Anyone who's trying to make sure they're always on top of QuickBooks, just make sure you clear those tasks. It's gonna tell you there's nine unpaid invoices at this point in time. We can do categorize 28 transactions when according to this, a potential tax deductions. It's always worth going there. As soon as I press the go button, it's gonna take me directly to my bank, in, bank area and we can complete that nicely. Now the dashboard is now called home. So that's gonna be our home one from here. We still have our bank account area, which we love. We still got our profit and loss information. We still got our expenses, we still got our invoices and we still got our sales section. The apps one, which we've only recently had, is still there as well. And it gives an opportunity to make sure that those apps are working. As you can see from here, I've got 14 apps giving me issues at the moment. So I've got to be really careful about putting those on. And then we have a new suggestions area. So it looks at the add-on sections and the assistance area as well. So we can go and look at them and bring them in. But the most exciting feature of all this is the opportunity to do a customized layout. From the customized layout, I can move things around. So for me, I really, really, have the bank account as my most important area. So I'd probably want that at the top there. Um, and to be honest, the shortcuts one, maybe move that down a little bit and I can move this around. That's great, I can move this around and I can make this bigger and smaller if I need to. So actually, if I need a bit more information about my banks, maybe I wanna split this down here so I can see more of them just there. Um, and if I go on to get rid of my banks, I never will, I could delete that as well. So customizing that is beautiful. Then I can save it and then I can use the add or remove widget option as well. Now at the moment, it's only gonna let me take away widgets and put them there. But we know that, with, that QuickBooks have always wanted to make the dashboard more customizable. And we've already had a sneak peek of what to expect from here. And all I can say from now is it's going to be brilliant to be able to have the data that they're promising to put there as an option there. I'm really, really excited for it. So why do I think the dashboard is so important? Well, for me, the dashboard is that first place that clients go to. And it's that opportunity to make sure that the client can see really important information about their business. For example, we would always have a corporation tax area there for our Boffix clients. So we can give an estimate of what their corporation tax bill is gonna be. We also put our director's loan accounts here. So hopefully clients can at least have a concept of what their director's loan account is gonna be to try and get rid of any adverse tax consequences that could have come from it and also gives an opportunity to see what their bank balances are and any problems they may have. So I found the bank account is so important to be connected. I love the task area and with QuickBooks Advanced, we can even put more tasks into there, which I'd really like to see. And then there's an opportunity to go in and look at the profit and loss and all of those items so our client can understand what they are. And better yet, all of this is all interactive. So we click onto it and it takes us directly to what the area is going to be. For me, the dashboard's so important. We want QuickBooks to be that central hub for a business. We want clients to have 
really feel like they're getting real-time information about how their business is doing. And for me, this is the dashboard is the perfect place for that. And as I said, with the information that's going to be coming into QuickBooks dashboard going forward, it's going to be an absolute game changer. When we have the opportunity to put the data in there that's really meaningful for clients, means that we're going to be able to make sure that our clients are always going to have information there that's going to be relevant to them. Again, this is a really small update, but I think this is a huge update in the whole scale of things. And for me, what this means is the dashboard becomes even more relevant than it's ever done before. And the dashboard, to begin with, was one of the most important aspects of QuickBooks for me and my decision to move over to, to QuickBooks in the first place. So, with that in mind, let me know in the comments below, what would you like to see in the dashboard? Is there anything there that you think would make it really, really good or really, really bad? Let us know in the comments below. As always, my name's been Aaron Patrick, and if you're looking to get the most out of QuickBooks Online, make sure you subscribe to the channel, because this is the best place for it. We can make sure you get all the tips and tricks you need to make sure you're using the best out of QuickBooks Online. My name's been Aaron Patrick, this video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to this new scene. Hello and welcome to this video. 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 Alright, let's get it set. Let's do this. Oh yeah, you're right. Yes, I'm aware we go live every Monday. The next generation is about everyone else that missed it. Yeah. So, come on. All right, you've told us what you love about the industry, but what would you change about the industry? Where do I start? During that period of time, where did everyone turn to? Their account, right? Their advisor, the bookkeeper, and you all did phenomenal work for small business.